Have anger we have so much hate we have we're full of anger we're like what happened when you um found out that she was strangled that's how she died and what's going through your mind during those details what type of animal can do that to a 17 year old and leave her there What type of human being that's not a human being? You think, you said this mentions this yesterday, you think someone saw something and they're not saying? Somebody saw something, but they're scared to come forward. And you're just urging them to change, you know, to rethink. To please come forward. You don't have to give your name. You don't have to give any information. We know you saw something. You heard it. Can you you see there's a growing memorial here? I mean, how are, has there been? I'm sure there's been an outpour of support. Is it helping at all? Or do you know, there's just not a lot can do Nothing can help the pain of losing my 17 year old niece. And then not having any justice for her. You also, they, they put out this reward pretty quickly, you know, just today with the 5,000. Is that giving you all some sort of, you know, hope that maybe that money could help motivate someone to speak up? All right now we could do is, yes, have faith and just hope and pray somebody comes forward and somebody with the right information and come and help us. Talk about the vigil that you're going to be having tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be having a vigil at 118 Ashland Drive at 6 p.m. And then from there we'll be coming and doing a balloon release here. You can bring, we're asking you bring your own candles or whatever it is that you want to leave for Caitlin. We ask that you bring your own candles and your own balloons. And we will meet at 118 Ashland Drive. When was the last time that you spoke to Caitlin before she I was actually supposed to pick her up and we were supposed to have a girl's a girls' night at my house with popcorn and a movie. And it never happened. And the, the man that she left the home with, did you don't know him? I'm not allowed to speak. Okay. So he just being, was just questioning that how? He's a minor. I can't oh. speak on him. When y'all call police, don't call him missing. I want to clarify that. Yeah. It was not at 2.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. It was not at 1.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. My mother does not let Caitlin or anybody of my kids, anybody's kids roam around that late at night. And I want to clarify that. 
it was my mom let her go out at 7 30 at night to get that cleared up they found her at 2 30 in the morning and so they and y'all had reported her missing you know, at 8 30 I'm not sh you know what I take that back I'm not even sure what time it was that we called we I think we started looking I don't know if it was eight I would have to look at my phone and look at the no no approximate time so y'all were on the ground looking for her friends or looking around the neighborhood yes so, uh, kind of reiterating, y'all weren't, yeah, you wouldn't just let a 17 year old walk around, you know, that late at night. No, never. That's not my mom. That's not myself. We would never let, these neighborhoods are dangerous, filled with homeless people. We would never let a 17 year old walk around with a friend late at night. 2.30, 1.30, whatever, everybody's making up a time. It was not that time. And she was, when did y'all expect her to come home? What did y'all know when she was expected to come back? An hour or two. She had told y'all she was going to go walk around with a friend? She was supposed to play outside. Yes. Nearby the hot place. And she seemed like such a bright young girl, you know, not into any trouble. You told me about her dreams, and so you, I was wondering if you want to put that narrative out there so people don't think, oh, she's, you know, doing something rebellious. She was, a, a, a friend asked her, wait, I can't say that. Mm. She was outside playing, and 7.30 at night, not at 1.30 or 2.30 in the morning, she went outside to, to play. And that was the last time. As her as a person, she was smart. So beautiful. She was always happy, always had a smile on her face, no matter what the situation was. She loved animals. She had dreams to be somebody, to be something. She wanted to do something with her life. She had gotten more involved into God. She had got baptized last year. We're just wanting justice. Somebody knows something. Somebody saw something. Just please come forward. We need we we need justice and and we need peace. You know. And this is your daughter. This is my daughter. Yeah. What is your name? Angie Hernandez. And I know I just saw your mom let go. Obviously, high emotions right now. How are you feeling? Numb, numb. There's there's no I, there's I can't even put into words how I feel. And just very numb. Just that surreal. I don't believe it's true, you know. I just keep putting it behind, my, behind my, in back in my mind, saying, "No, she's okay. She's okay, but she's not," you know. But we need to find out who did this because she didn't deserve this to be left there like an animal. It is, it's just, it's very ugly and cruel. I don't know what this person was thinking. Why they took my daughter? Why they targeted her? I don't understand. <laughs> because she has never been in trouble. She's always been a good child. And for them to just do this is beyond me. <laughs> My baby didn't deserve this. She didn't. And I don't know why her life was taken, why they did this. But we need answers. <laughs> this wasn't right. This wasn't right. We're hurting so much. It's, 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 I don't know how to put it into words. We're just hurting. You know, we're trying to stay strong for one another, but this is killing us, and it's killing us. We can't yeah. speak about that. 
she was just about to graduate and you must have been so proud of her accomplishments. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yep. Yeah, I was looking forward to it. I told her what color, what what should I wear and stuff like that. She was like, "Mom, we want I want you to wear a dress, but I we know you don't know how to walk in heels, so <laughs> she go, we'll just find you a pantsuit." But yeah, I told her I was gonna be there and and be cheering her on, and I was very proud of her for for you know everything she's accomplished in her life, and she you know she had she wanted to go to college and and everything. She she was ready for it. She, she had was, dreams. Yeah. She had a plan, and they took it all away from us. Talk about what the dream college. She had a dream college growing up, or just she just wanted to go to college. She just wanted to go to college. She wanted a better future for herself. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't picky about the college. She just wanted to just go to college and know that she can, you know, she was gonna become something. She started going to church every Sunday. She was, you know, going to church with my mom. Yep. She got baptized. She asked to be baptized all on her own. Yep. Is her church going to do something for her in remembrance? He'll be at the vigil tomorrow. What church is that? It's um, New Hope. Where's that located? That's on uh, Rob, Robin Forest, I think. Robin Forest, I believe. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. No, oh, yes, yes. Yep. We need, we, we do, we need justice. I mean, what else can we say? I mean, we're not going to just keep our, we're not going to be quiet. We have to speak for her since she's no longer here. And we're her advocates. We're yes. the ones who are going to speak for her. I'm the yes. one that's going to speak yes. for her until the day I die. I will find justice for my niece. If it takes every energy, every ounce of me, I will get justice. Just thanks to whoever's coming out here and posting, uh, uh, you know, in remembrance of my daughter. I we really appreciate it. You know, know that she was loved by by, by many, and uh, hopefully we all stick together, in the community, and somebody comes forward. And that's all we're asking for is is just justice. That's all we want, because there was no reason for this to happen to my daughter. She was innocent, and and she was loved she by many. She never hurt she, she anybody. Had a soul. She was all. She would give the shirt she had on to a homeless person. She would. She was just a loving, caring, 17-year-old, young little girl. Just having fun. Who was just going outside to play with the friend. And and then this happened, you know. Do you know if her school was planning to do anything for her? Have you ever heard anything? We don't know. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. You're welcome. We just really want the Crime Stopper. We just really want the public to know to please contact Crime Stoppers. They're offering a 5,000 reward for anybody who has information. And we are begging, we are begging y'all, public, please, please come forward. come forward and say something. We know somebody saw something. We know somebody heard something. We know that. And if you're scared again, you don't have to give your name. You can remain anonymous. Just please help us get justice for Caitlin. That's all. <laughs> <laughs>